This is Rob Naylor and I am joined here for this High Spot exclusive shoot interview. This is a long time coming guys. I am so happy to be here with the juicy one. With the only one. The only one. The juiciest one. Juiciest one. Juventud Guerrera, thank you for doing this sir. The juice is in the house and the house is with the juice. The house is with the juice and I am with the juice. Who you feel the juicy right now? I Can the, you feel the juice? the juice? Can you feel the juice? Can you feel the <laughs> juice? <laughs> the juice is being felt, yes. I am ready for this interview, my friend. I, I dare anyone. Find a better series of TV matches in 1998 than Billy Kidman, Juventud Guerrero. I, I, I really, Billy Kidman, if you listen to this, why don't you don't get in shape and get in the ring? <laughs> You know, why you don't fucking do that? The, the people want to see you. You know, they love you. And, uh, you know, I love you. Even when you suck. <laughs> I love you, man. There you go. Anyways. Um, yeah, man, fuck. We were rocking this thing, man. You, and then you had the Conan match. Yeah. Conan match is pretty rugged. Like, ball <laughs> bro. He's throwing you at, like, a cat out of a freaking tree hoover, dude. Talk about those matches a little bit. Well, that motherfucker almost killed me. <laughs> You fucking pandemic way. Oh, no. I go How come did you call Jabroni a one of the guys to revolutionize the business forever? You don't call that a Jabroni. You call that a juicy one. Okay, here's the guy. Pushing me all over the top, okay? Third rope. Bouncing me on you, Conan, right? <laughs> Conan is here, supposed to be catching me like this. And he go like, yeah! But guys uh, you know. see now that you're like, hey, that guy and me, we fucking, we rock it, we make some magic. Just, who that you, who do you might see now? You mentioned Ricochet earlier. Yeah, but I think there's a the one guy better than him. Yeah? Yeah. Who we got? Um, Will Ospreay. Because Will, Will Ospreay, despite being all the flying, he could be a really good base too, and just capture all these things. So like, I know, this is the difference about me and Ray. Ray wasn't able to catch me. And those Ricochet yeah, and Will Osprey, they catch each other. Yes. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, I wish I had that catch you. What I want I will, I will showcase even more than what I did back then, yeah. you know? But Ray sucks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> catch him, catch him. I, I and catch give him you. base, and give him base. That's, <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. No, for sure. For sure. He knows. I don't know what you buy. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's talk about maybe WWE. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk bad about them. I just don't, I, I think it wasn't the right time. Sure. It wasn't the right time. There wasn't the right moment, you know? But right now, it could be the right time. Oh, there 205, baby. Yes. All of these guys, you know, they get inspired by the Jews. You know, because I know so, because I say so, it's because millions of the millions of the juicy fans say so so that kind of make a statement you know and when you make a statement you gotta work for it you gotta go for it until you make your own statement so that's my goal i'm not asking you wwe for a chance i'm not begging you for a chance i deserve the chance i make the chance i make it juicy even better Juicy as hell, as never you're gonna believe so. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Damn, the gauntlet thrown down. Hoovitude, 205 pounds. Yeah, look at that. The inspiration for all of them in 205 Live. I'm here, waiting for you. Make the call. Fuck off, bitch! There was a heated response to that. Now, fuck you twice. Ah, 